<gasps> you guys! Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where I have extremely exciting news! Yes, yes, we were just working on being able to go ahead and get so many of our giraffes, because welcome back to season two, uh, and I just wanted to say, you guys, you caught me. You caught me. I was having so much fun with Planet Zoo, or excuse me, with Let's Build a Zoo. I'm blushing so hard right now. Having fun with Planet Zoo as well, friends. If you want to see Chips and I go ahead and record a bunch of playful Planet Zoo episodes, definitely check those out. <clears throat> but if you, like me, are here for the random genetic mix and maximus that you can do in Let's Build a Zoo, uh, there's kind of the DLC now. Yeah. And the DLC has been out for a little bit, but I had to go through and I had to finish sharing with you guys the huge chunk of the other videos I had already recorded for Let's Build a Zoo. And boy, am I glad that I was not able to like zoom ahead too far into the future because we have freaking dinosaurs now, you guys. Also, apparently new types of poop. <gasps> That's right! There's actually like a new poop researcher scientist person that you can get and you can do stuff with your poop now. Oh my gosh, it's like it's all coming full circle back around to our Zoo Tycoon 2 days. And we do have unspent research points that we need to use and apparently there's like a bunch of new settings like what on earth for the different visibility. I'm definitely going to have to like look into that because I feel like now I need like, every, all the text is a little bit bigger. Everything is happening. Oh my gosh. All right, let's rush in here. <laughs> and welcome back. So we do have the dinosaur DLC installed. I just don't know like where to find it. I think we probably need to continue to expand our research and our researchers will unlock the ability potentially for us to travel the world and actually start adding in. <gasps> Look at the little volcano. There is a volcano. This is not a drill. Also, do we have any animals? Oh my gosh, there's a female gorilla. Okay, we definitely need to go ahead and rescue this female gorilla really quickly because uh, our gorilla populations, we need a little bit of help there. But there are a ton of new features, like hundreds of new bits and bobs and pieces we can add into our zoo. There have been huge overhauls in how you manage the zoo and how you take care of everybody. Uh, and we've got a lot to catch up with, including, like I just mentioned, managing all that poop. And oh my goodness, it looks like, ta-da! Bio waste storage stores animal excrement where it can then potentially be processed includes a dung diary collection. I would be the kind of person who would think, sure, dung diary, scavenger hunt at a zoo. That sounds awesome. But that's when you can tell, like, I just know there's so much you could learn from researching those things. It's not as weird and creepy as it sounds when you say it out loud. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it is. Maybe I have a problem. Moving on. Uh, that is something that we definitely want to unlock now because look, unlocks one more facility, unlock one more facility pack and add two additional chambers to the CRISPR slicer. Like for real, for real beans. I already have my, <gasps> where did my chambers go? Didn't I have four chambers already? Did I lose my chambers? I don't think I lost my chambers. Did I lose my chambers? No, it was, was it for breeding? We have the breeding. Yeah, no, breeding slots has all the chambers. <gasps> and my giraffes are pregnant. Oh, that's wonderful news since we found out <gasps> they've got the new variety. Yes. Oh my goodness. We're going to have a new variety of giraffe, which is great because the giraffes are currently extinct in the wild, which is not great. Um, so I want the CRISPR slicer. Like, sure, we need to go for dinosaurs, but we're going to go for poop first. Publicity now up. And now... <gasps> That's beautiful. That's glorious. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And apparently we now have like a poop storage. I This is really important. And we can do staff entrances now. There's so much stuff I need to poke. I don't even know where to begin. Like where do we, where, okay. So facilities, where's the poop storage? I don't think it would be under amenities. Is it like enclosure? We've got to figure out where this is, is hidden away. Uh, I mean, because it, it did say we unlock... Let's see. Yes, you've unlocked this. Stores animal... So we need... Oh, oh! It stores it in the warehouse? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing? That... Oh, 
Okay, we need the warehouse maybe for this. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh dear. Okay, things are escalating quickly. Nobody panic. Let's run back inside the research hub. I like the idea that we just kind of like dash in with our like researcher coat, lab coat flapping behind us, slam the door behind us, and we just pretend we understand what's going on right now. Ahem. But we can do some staff entrances for ice as well as some staff entrances. I saw another one up here. <gasps> Nature! Only Zoo employees can pass through these doors. Use them to make employees more efficient while ensuring your customers only see what you want them to see. Very useful if we need to hide some sort of illicit activity, I'm sure, and probably great at making our employees more efficient. Uh, there's also the basic staff entrances. How does one, how does one become a dinosaur? like a dinosaur researcher. Improbable lab, extra farm, industry worker. That would be really helpful if we could get that working. Hmm, hmm. I wonder if it's less research we do on our end and if it's more, do you think it's a quest or a task we need to do so we can unlock being able to get dinos? I have so many questions. All right, so let's actually come over and let's find, where's my little, oh dear. Wow, this place is really messy. <laughs> I wonder if you could turn off like seeing all the people say they're queuing up for stuff so you could actually see like where you're going and what's happening. There we go, management office. So maybe we need some sort of special management. A research hub. Okay, let's start tackling a few of the problems that I mean problems no 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 a few of the events that require solutions which is what I'm going to now rebrand problems forever as in uh our zoo let's see should I get bananas going I would like to have a banana farm that actually sounds really cool like really cool and then we've got like shelter packs oh hey the rainbow you know what let's unlock that because uh, it is Pride Month after all. And so we could put down, oh, what if we did a little rainbow garden somewhere just for fun beans? Okay, currently I would assess this as chaotic. We will figure out how to start getting the dinosaurs. Um, I do think I had like peacocks that were happening and I definitely want to crossbreed the peacocks and the giraffes. So we need to unlock more of the giraffe genome to be able to do that, at least five giraffes. Because this month for our Patreon rewards, we are actually going to be celebrating with a ridiculously amazing giraffe sticker. Like it is so freaking fantastic. I'm going to get it really, really big as a clear sticker and it's going to be beautiful. I'm so freaking excited. Alari did a great job for our Patreon flying squirrel stickers this month and our postcard is just perfection. Highly recommend signing up for that if you would like to get that. It's pretty limited edition. I don't have a shop or anything. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll make more, but not guaranteed. Uh, but the moral of that story is that I want a giraffe peacock before like a paraf. I want a peacock giraffe paraf before the end of the month, which means we do need to do more research on our, our um, lovely giraffes, but like, how do I get dinosaurs? Hello? Did I miss something in the research area? Let's see. There's coconuts. Yes. I, I will. I, 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 coconuts would be good. I don't need a meat processing facility. Uh, we could unlock some of the floor packs. There's a lot of new stuff we're supposed to be able to unlock. But I wonder... Hmm... I know we have it installed. Huh. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and let's finish up our garden over here for the giraffes for just a moment. And whilst we do this, I shall contemplate how on earth I'm going to figure out how we are going to celebrate uh, with our our dinosaurs because I really want to get like a lot of dinos just make that really fun uh, but let's transform this into a pretty pretty area where our researchers can come and hang out I actually would love to do we want to keep it kind of grassy like you know what yeah maybe we want to keep it kind of savanna grassy over here um, I wonder what the little icon the V icon means now interesting and I think we'll do like a little bit of this will be the only like green spot 
kind of in the whole zone. And then maybe, whoops, okay, I did not want to cover up the brick. <laughs> As usual, I have made a bit of a mess. That's fine, it's just a seriousm. Nobody panic. Oh good, that fixed it. All right, and we'll just kind of like play around with a few things like that. Uh, and then we can put down some planters, just make this area look somewhat nice for the employees who work here. And then I will figure out, like, I'm pretty sure I've got dinos installed. How do you start? I want to get dinos. I, I love the idea that while we are trying to research for our giraffes, we just accidentally stumble on, like, some fossils. And I want to get, like, Dinodesia stuff going, you guys. That would be really fun. And do I have any more giraffe things I could put out? Well, I have the little giraffe flappy guy, but I don't know about him. All right, well, we're gonna celebrate the birth of our giraffes. I'm just gonna put a bunch of these down. We've got enough space. I can afford to just decorate a corner of it. And then once the new baby giraffe is born, we will start lining up the crisper to produce more giraffes, because might as well just let the time pass. If giraffes are extinct in the wild, it's only going to benefit us if we have a bunch of extra giraffes that we're like, oh no, what do we do with all of these beautiful, magnificent, amazing creatures? Uh, well, we need to go ahead. There we go. And we need to give them some new homes, of course. So we can release a bunch of the giraffes into the wild if we need. Let's see. We've got to work a little harder on our trash. We made $2 million this month. Nice. Our profit went down a lot. But I think that's just because our expenses went up a lot. I spent $2 million. Oh, because we bought so much stuff. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Super secret stuff. We are from the government and we would like you to help fund our top secret organization. It's such a secret that it doesn't even exist yet. What do we do? Well, we can't tell you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Um... P.S. This note will self-destruct after you have done reading it. Okay, that's hilarious. We'll go ahead and fund the People in Black program $10,000 because maybe they're going to give us some more of those alien spaceships, which was amazing. And then, and then I know I have the DLC installed. I feel like, you know, I woke up today, threw on my zookeeping outfit, snapped on my scientist goggles, Ran in so excited to start the work day, working with giraffes, ready to, to celebrate, or and then, you know, working with dinosaurs too, that I get to work and everyone's like, what are you talking about, Siri? That was just a dream. We're not actually going to be working with dinosaurs. Like, what's wrong with you? Do you have a fever? Ugh. That's what it feels like right now. Also, I want more plants. Where are all of our plants? How are our researchers doing? Maybe we should give them a promotion. There's the electricity siphon. Ooh, the rainbow trees! Yeah, maybe we'll make a nice little rainbow garden to just kind of like pass the time until I can get giraffes in the little rainbow bench park. Uh, that might be fun. Ooh, and the rainbow floor pack, we should unlock that too. How many floor packs do you need for dinosaurs? Tell me! <laughs> uh. All right, now we've got a blocked enclosure. I'll fix it at some point. Um, but we should have the birth of our little, oh, it's this one, Oh man. All right, we've got some poop that's in the way back here, friends. We actually have a lot of poop. I probably need, you should probably focus on trying to make sure that we're like taking care of that, okay? There's our giraffe hedge. <gasps> Look at this beautiful mossy rock, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have a little pond back here. Just a little one. Cause I know that like the savanna, well the savanna has like a few spots here and there where you would have a beautiful oasis, right? So let's make a pretty oasis over here with some long grass. And then maybe we can put in some toys for the animals to play with. And let's fill in this spot with some small trees. Oh, this area actually would be great to put in a ton more toys so guests can see all the animals just having a great time, I think. We'll add in more toys in just a second. So let's see. Enrichment. Why don't we give our hippos and our elephants a trampoline? Because if you're not here to watch hippos and elephants jump on a trampoline, you're missing out, I'm telling you. All right, put a couple of those down because that's adorable. 
Um, you know what? These leaf piles, we could actually kind of squint and just pretend we're like a large bush. So I think, yeah, we'll put in some of the autumn leafy looking piles maybe here and there. And we'll just kind of pretend that these are like large bushes. And I'll even put in, oh yeah, the animals are having a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if we just kind of pretend like, okay, okay, these huge bushes, they're, they're bushes, not leaf piles. I actually think that's really exciting. There we go. Look at that. Oh, there's a lot of poop. <laughs> what do I do with the poop? <laughs> I feel mildly overwhelmed. Like, oh, uh, I'm supposed to be doing something here. You said something about a warehouse. There's my farm processor. I think you only get one warehouse. There's the luwak, which is like a coffee thing. There's the seeds. Why didn't they tell you that poop scooping for a zoo needs to come? So prerequisite requires warehouse. We have unlocked the store's animal excrement, which can then be potentially processed, includes a dung diary collection. Where is it? I want to see, I guess? That sounds really weird to say with such excitement. Like, I want to see the, 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 like, poop. Huh. 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I clearly have a lot to look into. Um, and is there anything that I can like mark to like process then? So we've unlocked that. Underused operation. We need raw materials. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have... I, you can get leaves from all of these things. The storeroom settings on what you can put in over here. Unknown. Huh. Hmm. All right, friends. I don't know. <laughs> but at least we have a new giraffe on the way. I think we need more poop scoopers for our zookeepers because they're doing their best. Level 18. Let's actually go ahead and we're going to give a bonus to this person because they're going to be like scooping so much poop. There we go. I think they're off. Yeah, they're off to go ahead and try to do their work. And here's another one of our keepers. She's off to go scoop some poop too. Let's go ahead. We're gonna give her a big, huge bonus because she's she's feeling much more satisfied by her job. And who knows how long she has been patrolling all day long. <gasps> Look at this little elephant. Oh my gosh, it has the coolest tusks. Bigfoot, what a name. I can't wait to be able to rename the animals too. Oh yes, and that is actually one of the Ellie's that is the rarest. So that is one of the fourth variant of Ellie's. So I think we're getting closer to being able to have elephant hybrids, friends. That's awesome. And meanwhile, here in the nursery, <gasps> the new giraffe has been born. Woo! Okay, I'm very, very, very excited to see what she is going to look like, but I am not going to rush her being born. Uh, well, maybe I will. <laughs> I kind of want to, but would that give us like a negative morality? I think our morality is about as high as it can be from being good with the babies. So you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I know this is a little bit mean. I'm going to go out and personally take care of her myself, but we need her here so that we can actually unlock the genes that we need from her. Wait, where'd she go? My precious! Oh, there you are! Oh, he! <laughs> There is Sarah, the the baby giraffe. Oh, he's so tiny, you guys. And he's just swimming around. Who the heck is this? Yen the antelope looks more like a, a fox. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. But we have the little baby. Yes. Okay, so we can actually rush over here and we can dive into these crispers and we can start working on cloning the next type of giraffe. So at least, at least we have made that much progress in life. And I am so ridiculously happy about that because I love the giraffes. All right, let's get these guys cloned up. And then I am going, I thought it was gonna be really easy just to step in like, yay, we have dinosaurs now. It'll be really obvious how to get them. Uh, it was not, so I'm going to do a little more research on how we actually can unlock all of the dino stuff. 
<laughs> and make triple sure that like my DLC is installed because it definitely should be. Uh, and then we'll carry on next time, friends. We will, because I want to see more giraffe crossbreeds and I want to see the dinos. <laughs> so somehow I have lost our dinos, but I'm going to do my best to fix that. Uh, but we do have a new baby giraffe. I don't know why the keepers decided releasing him right in the middle of the lake was a good idea, but here we have it. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely little giraffes and all of the animals and the savannah who are apparently pooping everywhere and making it hard for the keepers to be able to reach where they should be going. And if you would like to go, if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. You guys, you guys, I feel so silly right now. It 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 turns out the DLC right over here, Dino DLC instructions. <laughs> Look at my sauropods. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start doing dinosaurs. Thank you for buying the dinosaur DLC. To access the DLC, go to the world map, select the new island. When playing any game type, go to the map and switch to the transport view. From here, you can select Dinosaur Island to be your destination at the end of the day. Once the sun sets, you will be whisked away to the land of the dinosaurs. So that's how we do it. I've never, I've never like tried to buy another zoo before. Uh, so I didn't know that, but, uh, yeah, right. Next time we'll start exploring dinosaurs. See you guys then.